Taurus, hi. I have been thinking about you all day long. And so I'm bringing you like a mid-month, just timeless love reading for you. Okay, we were just having the most wonderful reading, and I wanted to discuss that with you and see how the progress is on that reading. And um, we did do an extended, and I did post it that if you wanted my extendants, you just uh, send me a few dollars, and um, I will send you the link. Let me start by doing a prayer for you. Help me, please, guides, to read for my Torians at this time, pulling in the accurate love information they need. I call in angels. I call in love. I call in healing energies from above. I call in the divine that is so fine. I call in the energy of the Christ that is mine. I call in love for them to hear because I know their love is near. Bless you. Don't ask me. I write poetry and I sing and do everything. Oh, gosh, you guys. Here we go. Let me anoint the space for you, please, and myself. I sell sacred anointing oil. It is holy. It is designed to protect you spiritually and to um, give you a spiritual bath on the go because... Boy, do we ever run into a bunch of strange energies out here. Taurus, 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 Taurus. How are you, darlings? Let me check my clock and make sure I can... I wanted to do it live, but honestly, I'm going through some um, medical things, and I'm not so sure I'm ready to show my whole face yet. Okay, love you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at love with my Taurians. Bring me into the Tor love angels. Please, love oracles. Tell me how Taurus is doing right now in love. What's going on? What are your divine messages for them, please? Romance angels, what's your divine message for Taurus, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for you. Cross watchers are welcome, but you know, this is really focused at my Taurians. You know, they're faithful and they're good. And I love their energy and Though you are my polar opposite, I really, really, really am attracted to your energy right now. I'm very protective at this time. So let me bless you. Thank you. We have one. Tell me more about Taurus. Taurus right now. What is your what is your guidance for Taurus right now, please? Show me spirit. What is it for my Taurians? What do you want to say to them? Okay. That's it. I'll just I'll just draw some out. There we go. Let's start with that. If they want us to have more, then we'll pull more. Letting go of control issues is very important for your sake. Expressing your love and letting your friends help you. Yeah, you, it feels like you're just in interim at this moment, still kind of getting ready for that, that, that something to really like blast off or take off. Mm -hmm. That's energy management right there. Letting go of control issues, that's the energy management, Taurus. That's you like getting a grip on things and going, mm -mm, I got this thing. You know what? I don't care what you do anymore. Allowing things to happen naturally. I don't have time for this, baby. I, I'm, I'm busy working out. <laughs> I'm loving my friends and family and me. I'm expressing my love everywhere I get a chance. Making a romantic gesture, though, is if you are thinking of someone, Taurus, or cross watchers, and you were crazy, you believe they are the one, and I mean believe they are the one. No players allowed here, okay? Please don't play with people's lives. Love, love, love yourselves. Be solid. There's so many of my loves that are hurt because they got played, but that's only because someone's, some are really looking for the real thing and some are not. So in our search, we're going to be tumbled around and we're gonna be disappointed, right? This is gonna happen. I just dated an Aries the other day who pulled out a wad of money out of his pocket. Said, oh, where's your car? Oh, I'll go buy you a car right now. I've been rich since I'm 17. And then he touched my leg. And then he touched his crotch. And I knew right then and there, I said, no, no, I'm looking for a husband. So, no. But you, you know, you have to, you're going to get these boo-boos as you're dating and going out in the experience. But if you meet someone spectacular, you guys, Taurus, express your love to them. Reach out somehow. You know, somehow flirt. 
whatever. Express that love is, is a free thing. And you might want to um, do a mutual visit with this person through somebody you know. Ask for and accept support from others. And if you need to, ask for help letting go of, of, the, of an idea you might have or letting go of the power of something you can't control. I don't know. Let's have a couple more, please. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus at this time. This is just a love gift for you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, guys. Okay, I so swoon over your energy right now. Tell me more. Attraction, baby. Somebody's attracted. Ooh. I can feel it. I can see it. You are attracting somebody lovely. Tell me more, please, Spirit. What do you want to say to them, Romance Angels? Yes, what do you want to say, Romance Angels, to my darlings? Getting to know each other. Yes, you are. Yes, your friends introduced you to somebody, I think. Mm. You're going to be immersing in conversation with someone. Do you, you're going to really, you're going to know. Okay, there's attraction. So many of you are dating or meeting somebody or have met somebody, and you're in the process of getting to know them. Isn't that correct? Isn't that lovely? I love, love, love it. So, all right, let's take a look. I'm going to use a smaller version of the um, Light Sears Tarot. So tell me Taurus's energy in this situation here. Where does Taurus stand in this situation? What do we have in their energy at this time in love? Please, Spirit Guides, thank you, my Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell you right now. Whew, there's just love in the air for you guys. Oh, my God, I'm so swooning. The lovers... So you are sitting in the position of having a choice. You are thinking about someone. You are crazy about someone. But you're also having to let go of someone. At the same time, you've met someone new. Okay, some of you met someone new. And you're letting go of the one that, that uh, tried to keep you in bondage. And you're having help with your friendships. Okay, so I see that with you. What else is going on with my Taurus, please? Page of Wands, you're sending messages. This is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And you are, you're, ooh, you're warm for their form. Oh, well, if you're a masculine, every time you get around them, you're like so attracted. Masculine loving on a Taurus? Of course you are. They're very, they're very swoony, these Taurians. <laughs> I say that knowing you could be super bullheaded, but I also know how sweet you are. Tell me more about my Taurus. Six of Swords. You're leaving someone else for someone else. Capiche? It's so clear. You're probably leaving a Gemini for a fire sign. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Lovers is Gemini, the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about Express Your Love. Tell me about this partner that they're interested in. Mm, who's, who are you guys attracting? What is this? Let's see. Come on. Spirit, I love you. <laughs> oh, Eight of Pentacles, Cancer, Scorpio, I mean, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Eight of Pentacles is... Someone who's from work. It could be somebody you know from work. Um, Taurus, you met them at work possibly or in some kind of business transaction possibly. Um, they could be um, another earth sign. But what's happening though is they're, you have to put the work in. Okay, they're, I think they're willing to put the work in. Let's find out. Are they willing to put the work in? Because that's hard work. That's like, I'm going to focus on you right now. Either that or they're, you're just getting to know them, and they work real hard. Tell me more about this person, please, that Taurus is, is kind of entertaining at this time. Please tell me more. Please tell me more about them. Seven of Pentacles. This is a hard worker. And this person knows what they have to offer. This is solid. Seven and eight of Pentacles. This is a good person. They're going to take their time. They think about what they have. They watch what they have. Are they materialistic? No. They're just solid. 
Tell me more about this person, please, for Taurus. Eight of Wands and Eight of Wands um, is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a wand that you're sending out. They have a lot of energy they're sending out. You have Eight of Coins and Eight of Wands. That's a lot of communication. They probably work online or with the public. They probably do. Um, they are sending out messages. Are they sending it to the Taurus? I think so. I think they're sending. I think they're communicating with you. They want to boogie with you. That means the naughty. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's what they're giving me. They're experiencing a tower moment, though, in their life right now. Or there is a tower moment. And the tower moment is a sudden change or departure or shift in energy. It could be a change, job change. It could be anything. It, I don't see another relationship here. Um, tower is Scorpio as well. Tell me more, please, about what their what are their intentions for my Taurus? What? What? Let me use another deck. Sorry, guys. Let's find out what their intentions are for you, okay? Thanks. They, I want to get their intentions before I pull mutual energy between you. Express your love. What are your intentions for Taurus, please? This person here that shows up with eight of wands and eight of coins and seven of coins and the tower, page of cups, they're going to come in with an offer. It may take time. They're going to, they may not come in really fast, but this looks like a date, a visit, a love token, a token of an expression of love and emotion. It's small. Hmm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have a Scorpio here. Tell me more. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Love. No love. What are they going to say to you? I am in love, but I have to work a lot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Their intentions are to send you love. That's right. What's going to happen here? How long do you think this will take, Spirit? And why do we have eights here all over this? Yeah. Some of you are still getting over pain. Or this person may be, may be getting over pain from a... It's just like a continuous mental anguish um, of losing something or something changing for them or heartbreak. Somebody hurt them. Yeah, they're tender. This is a tender-hearted person, you guys. Someone hurt them. Let's see. Will they, will they, they're going to reach out and express their love. They want you also to express your, be willing to accept uh, when they show up. Um, wow, what a beautiful little reading they're giving you guys. Tell me why this guy had this three of swords in the tower. Who was this with? Taurus, this is for your other person that you're, that's interested in you and that's you have love for. Tell me. Knight of Cups, again, we're at the Knight of Cups. We're at this water sign. This is a Scorpio. This person was hurt by us. This is a Scorpio. Let me see. Tell me more about this. They, came, they saw something, they heard something, they came to a eureka. This person came to an understanding. They pulled out the sort of insight, intelligence, and, and they just cut cords with a Scorpio. Yep. Tell me more about this Scorpio that interfered or is interfering. Yep, the end. They ended it. So this person's going through a shift, and they're going to need you to be really, really, really nice and patient. Do not expect miracles. They already love you. They just haven't been able to tell you yet. If they haven't, you better expect it because I see it coming. I'm going to pull a fairy oracle for this. What is your message to Taurus about this loving situation right here? This could be any of you. Oh, lost and found. Oh, 
What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the Lost and Found Fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. Bless your heart, my beloved. Okay, they just showed me crown chakra, and there's lavender all over everything. Yeah, that's, uh, something's happening that's amazing in your life. Asking for help, letting your friends help you. Uh, Taurus, angels and celestial beings who protect everyone, and the fairies, they say now is the time for you to ask for angels and assistance. With that in mind, we go right now to your guides, okay? Keepers of the light, Taurus, please, in love. No, let me shuffle them better. One. it is. You're going through an ascension and you need to ask for help with this. This is where you understand things much, much better. This person's going through this, but so do you. So you have the Page of Wands, the Messenger of Peace, and you have ascension coming. Move into your true self, you guys. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Yes, it is. Ooh. Can you see all these? I hope this is a good a good view of these cards. And then give me another place for this person who's going through heartbreak, who, who ended a cycle and is wanting to start a new one because they're in love with you. Elmora, so this person's an awakening presence for you, and he knows who he is. They know who they are. They're divine. The universe is within them. They wear a cloak of protection and love. Yes, no matter what happened to them, they're divine. Okay, let me get your animal spirit guide message too. Now, these are very metaphysical for us. If you're the practical type and you're not so sure about other planets and life force and stuff like, you know, deep stuff like that, this is just, uh, you need to know, just period. You just need to know, all right? I'm just going to bring forth what I get because I love you so much. By the way, uh, thank you for being here. Be sure to hit the like button for these readings. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because I don't know what's happened to everybody. Uh, once you subscribe, um, hit the all bell, my darlings, if you haven't already. But if you're coming back, you know I love you. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, so new upside going up. Okay? New things happening. And Taurus. If you've ever had a reading with me, contact me because I swear to God, I've read for so many of you and I miss you. And I mean, if you're coming back at a lower price than everybody else anyway, probably. And if you're not, I'll give you my lower lowest price just because I want to bless you and stay in touch with you on these love readings. Here we go. So we have an animal showing up for you. And the animal message is the rabbit. Look at that rabbit. Recognize your significance. Archangel Gabriel. <sighs> mm. That's pretty darn special. Let me see what it says about this rabbit. Went right to it. I must have been destined to do this. This is interesting, you guys. Okay. I don't know how my camera looks. I'm sorry if you can't see them right. Pure, warm-hearted rabbits. They originate from Orion. They heal hearts with wisdom as well as love. Every sentient being emits sounds that together create the song of the earth. And currently, earth is discordant. However, Lady Gaia sings her true tune, and the rabbits hear this. Part of the rabbit's sole mission is to relay these notes through their energy fields in order to bring everything into harmonic alignment. Their aim is to enable us all to ascend graciously. Rabbits have a huge and important soul mission. They spread purity, clarity, and joy wherever they go. And because they carry sacred geometric wisdom in their auras, the angels sing harmonics over them. 
as a result through these furry little creatures, Angel Sonic spread over the land where they live. Archangel Sandalfin understands the music of the spheres, which is the harmonics of creation through the rabbits. He and Archangel Gabriel attune the song of the earth with the music of the spheres to holy place the seventh dimensional blueprint for earth. When you bring yourself in, into alignment, you omit an, a, a melodious tune. The wisdom of the rabbit suggests you watch your thoughts and actions. Make sure they are pure, light, and loving. Speak, hum, or sing with the intention of being in harmony with the song of the earth. Know your contribution is helping the entire universe to align in divine right order indeed. Unicorns love pure, innocent beings. And if you hold and think about a rabbit, a glorious unicorn will shower light and blessings over you. How cool that would be, huh? You may feel that your efforts are insignificant in the vastness of the universe, but they are noted and appreciated by the illuminated ones, my fabulous Torians. I love you guys so much. This is a beautiful reading. Let's see, is there anything else you want me to add? We've been talking metaphysical. I'm going to give you two more. One from a message from the Word. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. I will ask for help. Gabriel and Sandra Flynn are here. And let's take a cosmic look at your love life, too. Where this is the um, conscious spirit card for you. Thank you for blessing my beautiful Torians. Flames of Wisdom, the Crone, number 39. What? Hold on a minute. Yeah. I am open to all of life's wisdom, and I share it with gratitude. Indeed you do, my darlings, and you don't have to be old to do that. If you'd like a private reading, can be up. Otherwise, I want to say thank you for being in my life. Your positive energy, just being here, I feel it. I draw into it, and I thank you for it. Um, I just thank you so much. Namaste, my darlings. Take care. Bye.